Mark Fennell, very good to have you on board. Oh, sorry, got my camera in the wrong place. Mark, nice to see you. All the way from the East Coast, I hope all's okay over there. Um, I work for a US bank where, obviously, I'm aware some of my colleagues, um, you know, are still quite heavily impacted by the uh, pandemic. As are we here in London and I'll still do me. Wait a second. What's going on with the camera? Niels, the Geneva Convention is just a suggestion, is that right? Well, I think we need to invoke it for Ed's training programs because the ultimate pyramid is properly disgusting. Hey Ed, Sean, thank you for joining briefly. Grim, it was good to see you. Louis, how's it going? And Scott from Comhunt TV. <laughs> so Mark, how is the training going? I see you putting in some very nice kind of threshold efforts and time trial kind of practice. You're a big power guy, I think. Giorgio, a flat race, yeah. Um, don't know what's gone to my head, Giorgio. I still haven't watched. And do check out Giorgio Capella cycling on his YouTube. Really good strength and training advice. Very, very strong cyclist. Like, I mean, very strong. I mean, come the end of cyclocross season, because George is preparing for cyclocross right now. He's done his first couple of races. He'll be a force of nature in Zwift. Alan, force of nature outdoor crits as well. How are you today, sir? I saw you just rebooting um, the training engine yesterday. Oh, this will be a, Louis, it'll be a, a short one today. We're in um, a flat course in France. Deuce, I think it's called. Basically 25 kilometers, one climb. And the climb is 400 um, meters, I point for a kilometer at 3%. Nice one, Mark. Yeah. Have you tried the polarized training to drag up your threshold power? I found that quite effective with Ed. Hey, Dan, how are you today, sir? Yeah, early start, need to get done back on with work. So I reckon this will be about 40 minutes hops. Not in terms of the race, you know, the race and the warm down and all that kind of thing. The Tour de Station, yeah. Th there should be a Geneva Convention law against the Tour de Station. 11 hours. Oh, right, Ed. Damn. Okay, testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. Is that any better? Which is your ride, Louis? Oh, come on. Got to get the gear turning. Your sound was off briefly. I had to take it out. Is it clear now? I can still take it out one more time. Normal, perfect, thank you. I don't know why I'm doing that. Every single ride, it seems to do that. I just need to get in the habit of taking it out. Oh, the ADHR Giant, nice one, Lou. So, how far is that one? Yeah, you'll find the polarized training good, Mark. Oh. Anyway, so I've had a warm up, you know, 20 odd kilometers, a lot of zone two and three sort of things. Um, I do find that getting out the saddle and turning, maybe not quite as low a gear as that, high gear as that, like this kind of low cadence work, zone two, zone three, really fires up the glutes and the hamstrings. I didn't feel great first thing when I got on the bike, but 20 kilometers in, find it a lot better. Our jersey unlocked, nice. Stefan, how are you, sir? Good to have you on board. So today, basically, the objective is to stay in the bunch <coughs> and then try and deploy 
my woeful sprint at the end. I'll go for a longer sprint because I don't have Scott from Com Hunt TV's 1500 to 2000 what if, but not quite yet 2000 Scott. Have you been back in the gym since we went there? Nice one Lou. Yeah, that would be a good, a good workout. Sorry, it's evening for you, Stefan. How could I have forgotten? Yes, in Australia. Anyway, better get to the race. France is super pretty. So this is only the second time I've raced in the kind of the countryside of France. The last time was actually pretty good. Very fast race. I think from what I've seen of other people doing this off the map course, it'll be like 46, 47 kilometers an hour average. A Pritch versus Scott sprint off would be worth watching. You're still waiting for the doms to subside. <laughs> you are a piece of work. Ooh. So legs are, so having done the warm up, the out of the saddle stuff, um, zone two, zone three, the legs are actually feeling all right. I'm gonna put it out there. The legs are feeling okay. I am quietly confident, and this is famous last words, of staying in the bunch. Obviously, the sprint, I'm not at all confident about. Well, yoga should help. I think the more you do yoga, the better the benefit. It's like with stretching. It takes time for the body and the muscles and the ligaments to get used to it. But I had a really nasty training session courtesy of Ed yesterday. It's his ultimate pyramid. I did it outside. And basically, you do four minutes at about 100 105% of FTP, two minutes recovery, three minutes at 106 to 120% of FTP, two minutes recovery, two minutes at 121 to 150% of FTP, two minutes recovery, one minute max effort, and then back down the same pyramid. It's properly emotional. And I did it on one of the climbs in London, not Swain's Lane. Swain's Lane, evil little sister, Highgate Hill West. Yes, Tim. A flat race. Very good to see you, sir. It's a long time no see. How are you? How has the August been? I've seen Inns putting some really nice Instagram posts out. You've been very quiet, sir. Are you okay? Is all good? Lots of love to Tim at Cycling Hub. And you'll see um, on Scott's most recent video, we did a great little um, clip um, from the Kendall Mint Cake that you guys um, kindly got sent to Scott, having him won um, one of the lottery tickets, not the lottery tickets, the, uh, the tickets. And I've got to say, I really love that raspberry and mint, Kendall mint cake um, drink. It does have essence, the cowpole, but who doesn't like a little bit of cowpole, Tim? I tell you what, if you're a parent, well, you're not a parent yet, one day, maybe. Um, if you're a parent, whenever you give your kids a little bit of cowpole, you always have a nip yourself, it's nice. It's the good stuff. But what have you been busy at? Or is it top secret? I love it when you've been getting your head down. There's always plotting going on. Damon, morning to you, sir. Martin of the Big Power, I nearly did the, um, the Crit Crusher races, which I know you occasionally frequent. I'm not quite feeling good enough for the Crit Crusher races. Maybe next Wednesday. Yeah, morning in London, sir. But I forgot that it was evening in Australia, so all good. We're even. Tim is a dad. You know, I reckon he'd be a good dad. He's a good CEO. CEO, cycling hub. He'd be a good dad. You can be my dad, Tim. You can adopt me. And he can take on all my liabilities. My many liabilities. I don't mean my kids. No, no. Anyway, let's not talk about having children. That's a very serious subject. Only pull the ripcord on that one when you're both deadly serious. Because they're a lot of hard work. Mine are just going through their GCSEs. Right, 50 seconds to go. I'm doing this ride fasted. I did the warm up fasted. Looking to trim a bit of fat off because hoping to do a few of the hill climbs. And Coach Laverack likes a thin waistline, a nice trim waistline for the hill climbing season. Remember, hill climb winners they're made in the kitchen. Saw that on your really good devil's elbow video last night, Ed. 
Radis Law, morning to you sir. The aim in this race, Tim, stay in a bunch and then practice a sprint at the end. Thank you very much, Daniel. Appreciate that. Matt, how are you, sir? I've already said hi to you, Matt, my apologies. Right, heart rate is high. Lord De Lego asked why my heart rate is higher indoors and outdoors. It's the heat, but also you're nervous on the live stream. That's right, Ed. It's like abs are made in the kitchen, not from doing crunches. That's the bodybuilder in me. I think we speak the same language there. This is the off the map race. It is, there's off the map events and there's off the map races. This is stage two race, I think. I definitely joined that one. I'm pretty sure I did. Dear me. My little legs are wearing furiously. Oh, I see Niels. Well. I said it'd be a quick one. We'll be done in 10 minutes at this rate. <laughs> Trivago. That lady who advertises Trivago is so smug. I'm always the one that's paid full price for the hotel. Morning Phil, how are you? Yeah, okay, I think the legs are okay. Had Ned Leverack, ultimate pyramid yesterday outdoors. So I'm hoping this is gonna be some high cadence work to help build the threshold. So at about nine and a half kilometers, we get the mountain, Scott. The mountain is, 0.4 of a kilometer at 3%, but people will go maximum gas up it. Yeah, the pyramid is horrid. It's coming back down the pyramid that's the worst bit. I fell short on the two minute effort. 325 watts versus 350 prescribed. Hit the other watt ranges. This guy up the front must be proper strong. Don't know why he's bothering.
Yeah, proper nails. Just trying to settle, find a rhythm and an equilibrium in terms of the cadence and the breathing. This has been a very hard start. Yeah, their form wasn't very good, was it, Chris? In the Criterium de Daphne, Dauphine, sorry. And Brailsford is very disciplined about dropping riders out of form. No sentiment there. Yeah. I don't feel a great deal different for about an hour, Damon. Hour and a half tops. Any longer, and I'll bonk. I did the ultimate pyramid on about 50 grams of carbs yesterday. Fast digesting. Yeah, it makes sense, Chris. Everyone gets a chance at their grand tour. Be interesting which one, but now. Egan decides to ride, especially if he doesn't win the Tour de France. I reckon he'd go Giro. Although that said, Vuelta is a climber's race. David, was this your race yesterday, David? Very good race, 4.2 watts a kilogram, nice one, sir. Very punchy. Hey, Samuel. Long time no see, hey, Paul's well, mate. Well done for sticking with the training. Respect, sir. Oh, 4.3, my apologies. And I know the point one is super important. I'm exactly the same. Sixty three kilograms today, David. Well, sixty three point two, actually. I'm not helping Chase. I'm learning my lessons very slowly. I don't think this is the climb, is it? Maybe it is. Can't be. Nah, sprint. I think the climb's at nine and a half. I 
Very true, David. Nice one, Louis. Appreciate that, mate. Look, nice punchy profile, hey? A bit like an outdoor crit. I think there's one little 400 meter effort that will split the pack up. Clearly you do, Louis. Nice work, sir. It's a very beautiful course, this. Oh yeah, David. It depends if other people put down like a thousand watt sprint or something up it though. I love the people that can actually type and race at the same time. I can barely do that in a warm up. Hi Danny, how are you sir? Good to have you on board. Off the front, careless. Yeah, try to, David. Good call. Yeah, they're proper fast today, isn't it, David? I reckon it'll be 46 to 47, but I reckon we're faster. Was that it? Oh, 
and maybe it starts here. Vigilant for the descent. No point in trying to air attack. For sure, hear us. I think the, uh, I think TT bikes are actually banned. So whether he gets the benefit, I don't know. Or gets disqualified. Got that, thanks David. Will do, David. I saved that. Oh, don't ever call that recovery, David. Yeah, I'll try and sprint early. Yeah, David, I didn't know if others would lose the wheel, but yeah, you're right. Probably burnt a match too many.
Yeah, you're right, David. <laughs> nice one, Scott. It's your kind of course, I reckon. As long as you hold enough energy back for that little punch. Treat it like a intermediate sprint stage. Segment, sorry. Hey Jinx, you right mate? How's it going? Well good luck with that Louis. Hope it's a good one. Thank you, Dennis, I appreciate that. Try to get the heart rate down. Bring back the equilibrium. It is, David. Um, we can't travel because I can't quarantine and Edward miss some of the hill climb season through quarantine. We're gonna look for an alternative challenge. More of that to come. Yeah, the higher cadence makes a big difference, Dan. It's worth practicing. You can't go straight from low to high cadence, but definitely it's easier to rev up and stay with the group when you need to. Adrian, good morning, sir. How are you today? I did a little piece on that actually for my pyramid training yesterday. I've got a 32 cassette on the back now. Fall in my mop. Huh. Had to put a bigger derailleur on as well. Made a big difference in the quality of the training, especially when the gradient of the hill ramped up outdoors. Yeah, it makes sense, Patrick. 
heart rate is higher as the cadence comes up. Albeit the body does get used to it after a while. That's why I'm a slightly better rider indoors and out. It's easier to keep a high cadence indoors. The ground undulates less, more consistent. Well, certainly for me. Eased off too much there. Cheers, David. They still feel okay. Cheers, Damon. Cheers, Scott, I'll do that. Hopefully it's nails.
She's got. Oh, idiot. Way too early. So angry at myself. Cheers, Agnes. Yeah, I did. Way too early. You're right, Eurus. You're right, Niels. I'm so angry at myself. Squandered it. Cheers, Craigie. Oh, oh man. Oh dear. Oh. Yeah, I thought, I thought, be ambitious, try and hold five to six hundred. Yeah, uh, silly, I should have gone 200 meters later, I'd have done it. Not a win, but I'd have had maybe top five. Quite disappointed with myself, but there we go. It's a good race, and I really appreciate all the support. I mean, crikey, proper fast. What was the time on that one in the end? Let me just get the legs rolling. I tried to sprint Ed a little bit too early at 700 meters. Oh. Yeah, that felt good. That, that course, these French courses, are not unlike Tempest Fugit Flat. Super quick. Yeah, I did catch them out. If only the race had ended 300 meters earlier, Ed. <laughs> I was very wily. I properly surprised them. I ambushed them with my woeful sprint. And I was winding up mine just as they were peeking out on theirs. I might do another one of these another time because the, the flat courses are my weak spot. But that's a very nice threshold training as well. Yeah, I mean, if you like the video and you're watching, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the channel, subscribe. It'd be hugely appreciated. Thanks for reminding me, Scott. Yeah, I didn't hesitate. I hope people liked my out the saddle, in the drops style. I was watching Sepp Kuss win his stage in the final stage of the Criterium du Dauphiné. He is a very stylish rider, but his out the saddle 
on the hoods, sorry, on the drops action is really beautiful to watch. Whew. Yeah, that was good. So I'm quite happy having stacked that on the back of the Ultimate Pyramid. And the thing about Ed's Ultimate Pyramid, it is disgusting. I mean, it's VO2 max and anaerobics, you know, lactic acid city. But it is only 31, 32 minutes in duration, including the recoveries. So you don't build a ton of training stress doing it. It's not like you want to be doing that five days a week or three days a week or anything. But that did in turn mean that by having that yesterday and doing a bit of zone one, zone two on the way out to the training and on the way back, I definitely felt fresh enough for a race today, especially if it was a high cadence, um, in a nice consistent power output style race. Oh, should we have a look at the power breakdown? That's a good point. All right, um, so what do I do? I go to, all right, it's a 20 minute power 290. I mean, my FTP is about 290. Yeah, I mean, none of these are particularly um, knockout for me. Um, but in the context of some of the big spikes in power, they were pretty good. And let's have a look at the actual critical power graph. I'm always better on the really long climbs where you can just lay down a pace and gradually ramp the power my body responds well, responds well to that, which is why I warmed up for a 20 kilometer ride first thing. I wanted to get properly warmed up and into it. Yeah, you see the power at the curve is wrong here. You know, clearly I did more than, uh, let's have a look at the actual timeline. Yeah, it's quite a punchy profile. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm happy with that. That's kind of the training that I wanted, not really dipping much into zone two. Most of it zone three, four, and a bit of, a tiny little bit of six, five and six, well, a bit of five and six. But anyway, thank you all very much. I really appreciate everybody joining. Ed's doing a training live stream, I think um, around, is it 10 o'clock, is it Ed, or is it 10.30? But definitely check out that. No doubt, an array of knowledge bombs will be dropped. I'll be watching because I haven't got a ton of conference calls to jump onto, hence I was able to do a live stream first thing. Um, but really appreciate everybody tuning in, it means a lot to me. Um, now Ed has got me scheduled, and Ed, confirm this. For, for training, this isn't a challenge, for training he's got me scheduled for a four times out the Zwift on Saturday. But it's like one times at 240, I won't live stream that. One at 250, and then there's one which is a 30-30 over and under the whole way up, and one which I think is a 60-30 over and under all the way up. Anyway, it's, one, it's something like that. So it's gonna be probably disgusting. I'm in two minds as to whether to do that with a live stream or just do it privately one morning. Would people prefer to see a, a race on Saturday? Because uh, potentially, if there's a chase race on Saturday, Scott and I might be able to jump on that, um, especially if it's a flat one. Uh, we have to wait until about Thursday, Friday to find out what the course is. It doesn't update until then. Or um, would people prefer to see uh, the tail end, you know, like at least two of the ascents up out of the Zwift, but it isn't a race? Um, I am mindful of wanting to put out nice content. Also, I've got a little something to talk to Ed about, which may make him change his mind about the four times I've out this with. Uh, anyway, um, yes, video um, is either out tonight or tomorrow. We're just uh, finalizing the timing on that. Um, it's the final, and it's a really beautiful video. I'm really pleased with it. Like, um, it's a really uplifting video. Um, Scott took me out um, in Minehead um, with all of his uh, friends. He calls them characters, but they're actual real people who are not acting. Scott doesn't act in real life. Um, he's exactly the same in Compound TV as he is in real life. Anyway, I digress. I'm only joking, Scott. Um, so it's Big J, Little Roz. We got Gaz, the black and white photographer. And we got Lewis, David Walker Blair. Um, Big J, Roz, Lewis. Oh, and Bullet, of course, Bullet. I knew I was forgetting somebody. My apologies, Bullet. Oh, 
How could I forget? Anyway, um, and so we go up to the top of a really beautiful climb on the edge of Minehead and ride along the ridge. And then there's a really beautiful scene where I'm chasing Roz, little Roz, who's doing a really good, I mean, a really ambitious Queen of the Mountain uh, segment. It's a long segment across a beautiful ridge uh, just as the, the sun is setting. Really lovely. Um, she's a very, very good rider. She dropped me on the descent, obviously. Um, she's a mountain biker as well, so way technically better than me. And then um, we go and hit a little segment in Mount Minehead itself where Big J and David Walker Blair deploy, and I mean deploy, shock and awe power. Um, um, if I'd had another kilometer, I'd have reeled them in. But <laughs> um, So it's definitely worth a watch, that one. And um, yeah, thanks for reminding me, Scott. Um, <laughs> yes, it's... It's good for the actors, Agnes, to get some work. But anyway, thank you all very much for tuning in. Really appreciate that. Check out Ed's at 10.45ish, I will. And um, looking forward to seeing you all soon, um, Saturday. Um, but do let me know in the comments or anything like that if you prefer a race or you prefer a nasty training. Cheers. Take care. Ah, in the meantime, whoever you are and whatever you do, please remember to live, thrive and stay healthy. Once again, a very slick sign-off.